Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a super clean app rating pop up to your Flutter app without making it feel annoying or spammy. It's that smooth little dialogue you see in real apps that asks users to rate the app. And yeah, we are doing it right away. I will walk you through it step by step using a simple example, and by the end, you will know exactly how to set it up in your own app. So, stick around since this one's quick, easy, and honestly kind of fun. Let's jump in. So first thing first, I'm running the default Flutter project, uh, which is just the simple counter app as you can see here. And uh, we are gonna use this example to build out our main goal. All right, uh, go ahead and open your pubspec.yaml file and let's add a couple packages. We are adding uh, shared preferences uh, to keep track of how many times the user opens the app. And we will use that uh, to decide when to show a review dialog widget. We are also bringing in the in-app review package. That's what uh, let us show a nice native looking review pop up and take the user to the app store if needed. Once uh, you have added those, uh, let's quickly set up a cache manager class. This class will handle saving stuff using shared preferences package. And the cool thing is uh, it's reusable. You can use it anywhere in your Flutter app to manage local caching. Now let's create the main class that will manage our app review flow. This is where all the logic for showing the review dialog will live. We are putting it in its own file to keep things clean and scalable. Inside, we will define a couple of keys uh, to track whether or not the user has been seen the review prompt. All right, now let me walk you through this little function. It's called handle app launch, and we want to run it every time the app starts. First up, we grab an instance of shared preferences. Think of it like a tiny notepad where we can store simple values on the user's phone. Then we pass that into custom class, which we made it earlier. In my case, it's called pref manager impl, just to keep things organized. Next, uh, we read how many times the app has been launched. We use a key, launch count key, to grab that number. If it doesn't exist yet, we just sort at zero. Then we increment it by one because, hey, the app just launched again. And after that, we save that updated number back to storage. So next time we can track it again. Now here is the important part. We don't want to annoy users by showing the review pop up too often. So we can use a little trick. If the number of launches is divisible by three, meaning three, six, nine, and so on, we show the review dialog. And that's what count percent three double equal to zero is doing. Then we save the launch count again using another key, last prompt key, just to make sure we are not repeating the prompt too frequently. So yeah, this is a smart, non-intrusive way to track app launches and gently ask for a review from time to time. Now let's check out the show rate dialog function. This one's responsible for actually displaying the rating pop-up to the users. We start by getting an instance of in-app review. This comes from the package we added earlier, and it helps trigger the native rating prompt on both Android and iOS. Then we check if the review feature is available on the user device. That's what is available function does. If it's available awesome we call request review function and the system shows that clean native pop-up super simple but sometimes it's not available maybe the device is old or not supported in that case we fall back to opening the apps page directly on the app store by calling the open store list just make sure to replace that placeholder app store ID with your actual apps ID when you are getting ready to publish so yeah this approach gives users a smooth experience and even if the pop-up isn't available, they can still rate the app manually. Now let's come back to the UI side of things. Just for testing purposes, I am calling handle app launch inside the on tap of the add button. I'm doing this because I don't want to hot restart the app every time I want to see the dialog. But in a real world app, you would want to call this function inside your home screens, init state, or anywhere else that makes sense. Just make sure it doesn't annoy the users. Now that I've hooked it up to the button, let's hot restart the app and test it out. So, check this out. Every three times I tap on the button, the review dialog shows up. At three taps, six, nine, and so on. Works like a charm. Just keep in mind it's best to trigger this review pop-up after the user spends some time with the app, like after completing a game level or after using the app for a few days. That way, they can give useful feedback. 
Also, look at how clean this dialog looks, super minimal and really polished. It shows the app's name, your icon, the star rating, and give the option to submit or just skip with not now. It's perfect for encouraging real feedback without being annoying. But one quick thing to note, right now the submit button is disabled and that's totally normal. We are still in development mode and the app hasn't been published yet. Once your app is in production, that uh, button will be active and users will be able to submit their actual reviews to the store. And the best part, this review dialog automatically supports both dark and light mode which is amazing for ux makes your app look more professional and modern without any extra work all right that's it for this tutorial hope you find it helpful if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more flutter tips app dev tutorials and all that good stuff until next time happy coding and take care